Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. This is Arif. In this video, we are going to see how we can design a full adder 8 bit using behavioral modeling first in a VHDL program and then we are going to do the same in our system Verilog program. So, this is the design file of a VHDL program first. So, in this, we have first of all defined our entity which is the adder 8 bit. And after that, in its ports, we have defined the sum as our in and out signal. And then after that, we have defined our carry as in and out as well. And it is going to be standard logic. The sum is going to be a vector of 8 bits. And after that, we have defined this OFF for our overflow. And after that, we have defined our inputs A, B, and carry in. And A and B are of 8 bits and carry in is just 1 bit. And after that, in this architecture, we have defined our adder 8 as we are saying begin. And after that, we are just adding our 3 input signals A, B plus C, I. The 2 inputs A, B and the carry input. And we are giving that to the sum and after that in order to calculate the carry we are using this logic and for this logic how to calculate a carry you can refer to any theory i am not going to explain it because it is a bit complicated but this is the way we can calculate our carry and after that we are calculating here our overflow value and we can calculate overflow like this by this logic and after this our architecture is ending here so this is our complete program and here you can see we are using here s in order to calculate our overflow that's why we are defining our s output as in out not as out you can see here as in out so this way we can use s to calculate our overflow value here and this is for vhdl 2002 version if you are going to see here i have compiled this code the compile is successful and if we are going to go to our properties we are going to see here the option given is use 2002 so that's why but we can define our the sum signal as out as well and same way carry as out as well but then we are going to see an error because if we want to use our out signal here to calculate something some logic like this in this case this overflow value or like this carry out for carry out even we are using this sum signal here this s7 so then actually we can change the properties here and it is going to compile if we are going to go and select this option instead of the above one we can compile this code use 2002 use 2008 so if you want to define your s and carry output two output signals as outputs then you can click this one here 2008 version and you can compile then the code because there are some changes in vatl versions let's recompile this again and now i am going to show you our test bench as well the way we have defined the test bench and for the test bench we are saying here we are using this adder 8 bit as a component same ports ports should match if we are defining s as in out it should be like this here as well and carry out should be like this here as well and after that we are defining some signals and we are using these signals in this begin block once we are calling 
this adder entity in this program and we are using this port map in order to map the inputs and outputs using positioning like sum carry overflow three inputs like this and after that in this process block we are first of all giving the all zero values to our three inputs and then wait for 10 nanoseconds and then we are going to change our values to three inputs carry one and this way we can give different values and this is our the end of our process block and end of our architecture block so now let's go here go to test bench simulate go to this wave window select all the signals drag those to this wave window and run simulation so this is the way we are going to see the inputs and outputs this is a b input sum and then carry in is also zero and we are going to see carry out like this and overflow like this same way we are going to see these inputs this a b and this is carry input and this is some output carry output and then this overflow is going to happen here so this way we can actually calculate overflow and carry out as well along with some and now i am going to show you let's go first to this design file and i am going to show you another way to calculate our sum and carry and overflow so let's skip out these lines and include these lines so this time we are going to use another variable which is going to be our signal and we have to define this signal here as well and this signal name is result first we are going to store our result into this signal whatever addition we are going to do and then we are going to assign its values to our sum and carry outputs so what we are doing here is we are actually this is our a input which is a vector B input which is a vector and this is just one bit ci so we are concatenating here a zero because our result variable we have defined is of nine bits instead of eight bits because we want a carry from this as well so what we are saying here is we are making this a nine bits b vector 9 bits and then ci is our carry just one bit and we are adding all these and putting the result inside this result variable and after that our first eight bits these 0 to 7 of result are going to give us our sum and then the last bit is going to give us our carry this is the way we can also get a carry instead of getting a carry like this in this case we were using here the s7 bit a7 b7 and this way we were going to calculate our carry but in this case what we are doing here is we are just using the last bit of our result signal which is going to be our ninth bit first eight bits some ninth bit is going to give us our carry and this is the way we can calculate our carry offset we are going to calculate like previous and now we can actually save this and let's go here to test bench we are going to see the same output and inputs
so we are seeing here same inputs and outputs and carry out and of overflow value as well in some cases overflow is going to happen in other cases not and now let's go to our design file again of full ladder and i am going to show you another way of calculating this addition so we can skip out this line and now we are going to use these functions this convert integer on this a input and then p input which are vectors we are going to change those into integers and then we are going to add those integers like this and here we are giving its size as 9 bits because our result variable we have defined from 8 down to 0 is of 9 bits last bit for the carry out right and now we are no longer using this line above line these are just two different ways to calculate the addition in VHDL. Save this. Compile this. Simulate. And we are going to see the same output combinations along with the inputs. So this is the way we can actually calculate our overflow carry out plus sum for a full adder using VHDL. And now we are going to do the same using a system Verilog program. So let's go inside that project and let's see its design file so this is the design file here we have defined our module which is adder 8 bit and these are its outputs this s is a output carry out overflow is a output and these are three inputs 8 bits a and b and carry in one bit and after that what we are doing is we are saying add three inputs and here we are actually concatenating these eight bits for sum and the ninth bit for a carry out and this assign we are going to use here so first eight bits after this addition are going to give us our sum and the ninth bit is going to give us our carry out and this is the way we can to the concatenation of bits inside system Verilog or Verilog and for the overflow value we are going to calculate using the same logic the way we were doing in the case of VHDL and now let's run this program and see its output actually let me show you first the test bench as well so the test bench module test bench and here we are defining here the inputs as reg and outputs as wire and this integer i am going to show you later i and here we are calling this that adder module and here we are mapping the inputs and outputs using these wires and regs which we have defined earlier and after that in this initial block we are first of all setting our all inputs as zeros wait for 10 nanoseconds and after that we are going to run this for loop and this random function inside system Verilog or Verilog is given which we can use to give the inputs randomly to our three input signals so this random function dollar random is going to 
give us some input values which we are assigning here and after that we can assign some values manually like this as well outside this for loop and we can actually assign all the values to the inputs like this as well like this as well but in this case we can just run a for loop and this random variable or random function which is not available inside VHDL. And this integer i we are using actually here inside this for loop. That's why we have defined that. And after that, initial block is going to end here and then end module. So this is our complete program. And now actually let's simulate this. Go to wave window. So we are going to see the same inputs and outputs the way we were getting these values inside VHDL as well. I am using the same values here, and this is the way overflow and carry out are going to behave. Logic is going to be same. And now I am going to show you another way of calculating the carry out just like in just like in the case of VHDL, we were using actually a logic this equation like this. To get our carry out in which we were using a7 b7 and s7 so this time we are not going to use this equation this one this code line these two code lines are going to give us and then the third code line is going to give us this overflow this line is not going to change We compile this design test bench simulate go to this wave window select all these signals and drag those to this wave window run the simulation and now we are going to see the same input and output combinations now end this simulation and let's try another way of calculating our sum carry and overflow so instead of using these two lines we are going to define a variable, different variable result, which is going to be of nine bits, just like we did in the case of VHDL program. And then we are going to put our result, the sum and carry like this, inside our this variable nine bit. These two are eight bits, this is one bit, and result is going to be nine bit along with the carry, right? And after that, we are going to give the result of our first eight bits zero to seven to sum and ninth bit to our carry out and this is going to give us our sum and carry out so compile this And now let's go to our this wave window. Select all these input and output signals again and drag those inside this simulation window, wave window, run those, and we are going to see the same input and output combinations. So this is the way guys actually we can 
calculate our sum carry out and the overflow signals using bhdl and verilog programs so thank you guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this video have fun